Oh, welcome, Waffle Warfets. We are back with the fantastic Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be taking down Angelo Bronte. Now, if you didn't see the last video, what pretty much happened was we met up with Angelo Bronte at a party. He introduced us to many different wealthy people and stuff. Now, he told us that if we wanted to make a bit of money, we could rob a trolley station. So, uh, Dutch being Dutch, decided, yeah. We need one more big score. Let's go and rob this trolley station. So we went there. We robbed it. We discovered that there was only like $20 in the safe. And all of the police force turned up in about 10 seconds. So we're feeling like Angelo Bronte set us up a little bit. So what we've done, we've met up with a dude who has a boat. We helped him out of a few little uh, tasks. And he has now agreed to take us to the backside of Angelo Bronte's mansion via the river. And we're going to go in there. We're going to get Angelo Bronte and we're going to have a little bit of fun with him, you know. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, um, for now on, for the foreseeable future, these Red Dead Redemption 2 videos are going to be 45 minutes long. Now, the reason for that is, as you guys and girls know, I'm trying to make enough videos so that you guys and girls get a video every single day over the Christmas period. Because if I don't record multiple videos at the moment, then you're going to end up having either just a load of Spyro videos and no Red Dead Redemption, or I'm just going to have to have a break from YouTube. So I'm lowering it by 15 minutes so that I've got time to make two Red Dead Redemption videos per day instead of one. So that's why I'm doing it. So yeah, sorry if that annoys you. It's only 15 minutes. It ain't a massive amount. But you know, if it does annoy you, I apologise. If I'm still doing this after January 7th, then uh, it'll go back to an hour. But I'm hoping it's bloody done by then because I love the game, but I'm tired of playing it now. It's so long. But yeah, what we're going to do now is we are going to go and talk to Dutch, who I think is already at the boatman, and we are going to uh, take down Angelo Bronte. I don't really like I don't really like starting playthroughs off with like a, a combat scenario, you know, because when you've uh, when you first turn on your PS4, your PC, your Xbox, your Nintendo, whatever the bloody hell you're playing on, you know. You gotta give your uh, fingers a few minutes to, uh, you know, warm up. You know, get used to the controller. You know, get get a feel for the game again. I don't know about you guys and girls, but I just need a few minutes to warm up. You know, so uh, when I've got to go straight into a gun battle, there's a good chance that I'm gonna end up dead multiple times. You know, and this is gonna be one of the more crazy gunfights. Oh, oh, there you are. Hello, Bolt. Oh, what's this? Yeah, oh, actually, I think these are pretty useful. I think you can do um, something Something you could do with these plants for the horse, if I remember correctly. They're like reeds. Common bull rush is used to craft items for your horse. Yeah, something to do with the horse, I thought so. You should make sure you pick lots of herbs in this game, because for one, if you're going to plan on getting the platinum trophy, there's a lot of challenges in this game that are involving stuff like herbs and that, you know, and crafting things and stuff like that. So having a load of herbs in your uh, bag can be very good for when you do decide to do the challenges, you know, because you've already got multiple different herbs in your bag to craft things, you know. So make sure you do uh, pretty much pick up every single uh, herb you see because it will be a massive benefit for you later. And then obviously you've got loads of supplies, so you can make stuff like health potions and craft things for your horses. You can also add herbs to like meat and stuff to get like better. F uh oh, oh no, it's bounty hunters. Oh, we're going to have to be careful. Yeah, cause, because we robbed the trolley station and the police were after us, we are now, uh, as you can see, we've got 165 bounty and we're wanted dead or alive. So uh, we've now got a couple of, yeah, look, yeah, bounty hunters, see? Oh. All right, let's get me gun out. The chance of me being able, oh God, the chance of me being able to get past these guys. Oh, damn, look at the state of my weapon. I need to clean this weapon up. <laughs> Good job I spotted that. Look at the state of it, it's filthy. I do apologise. I mean, when I'm playing this on my own, like off YouTube, I'm very good at maintaining Arthur's health. You know, I'm very good at maintaining my horse and weapons. But when I'm on YouTube, you know, I'm so distracted with the... Oh, shit! I'm trying to defuse the situation. Oh, shit! Oh, God, I was not ready for this. I've got no dead eye. Alright, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, yeah, that was gonna happen. 
It's because I had no dead eye, and they all snuck up on me when I was cleaning my weapon. Yeah, that was obviously going to happen. I could see that coming a mile away. A smart person would have run off and cleaned his weapon somewhere away from the uh, bounty hunters, but you know. For some reason, I thought the game was paused <laughs> when I was cleaning my weapon. Uh, oh well, at least they've gone now. Oh Jesus, they took a lot of bloody money off of me, didn't they? And I didn't even lose my bounty. They just robbed me, that's all they did. They bloody robbed me. Right. Uh, what do I want to do? Bolt action rifle is nice and clean. Lancaster is nice and clean. And my pistols are basically clean. So uh, let's uh, quickly have some dinner. Just getting myself all prepared, you know, because like I said, this is going to be a pretty big battle. So, I mean, you've got like minty pork right here, you know. And this is the kind of stuff you get by finding wild mint, you know. And it, it increases all of your stats a bit more. So we should definitely, or make sure you always pick up the herbs. But yeah, let's uh, head over to Dutch now. I'm not sure who else is coming, but we're going to deal with Angelo Bronte. There's a few reasons to deal with Angelo Bronte. For one, he has insulted us several times, both in English and also in Italian. You know, he's insulted us a bunch of times. Um, what else has he done? He also took Jack Marston, you know, that wasn't really, well, it was sort of personal, wasn't it? Because he was working with the Braithwaite, you know, that's why he took the, the boy and he agreed to it because he had the ump with us as well, so he still technically took Jack, you know, it wasn't even like the Braithwaite's paid him to do it, he literally did it himself, so he's took Jack Marston, which is a problem. What is going on in this bloody forest? Look at the state of this place. Yeah. Very murky. Yeah, what else has he done? He also, like, obviously nearly got us murdered, made us rob a place, you know, and there was no money there. He lied to us just to try and get us taken care of by the police. And I assume he owns the police because he practically owns San Denis, you know, because he's, like, one of those big mob bosses. You think the mayor is in charge, but the mayor's not in charge. It's uh, it's all Angelo Bronte. But yeah, he's done multiple things to annoy us, so, yeah, I feel like this is long overdue. What's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea. But I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. Look how that turned out. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. Well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. All right, looks like we're going over the wall. Right, I'm going to give it a pause a second. I'm not really going to have much opportunity to say nothing because there's going to be a lot of fighting, you know, and there's going to be quite a bit of character conversation, you know, so I don't really want to interrupt them very much. So if I don't say nothing during this, during this bit, I'm not being lazy, you know, I just... Uh, I want to hear what they're talking about and stuff and also deal with uh, the gunfight without dying multiple times, you know, because if I'm going to keep these videos at 45 minutes, I don't want unnecessary deaths. I've already had one unnecessary death. It's probably cost me two minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, get my weapons out ready. I should, actually, I'm going to use my bolt action. No, what, what the hell? What did you bring up? What did you bring that for, Arthur? Who the hell do you think you are changing your weapons? Oh, that looks like I'm using the Lancaster repeater. Double barrel shotgun's probably pretty good when we're inside the mansion, but you know, I'd prefer to have my bolt action rifle and my repeater, to be honest. 
Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur. Thank you, Dutch. Let's go. I don't need luck though. I'm a master headshotter. Oh dear. I like how he always puts me with John. It's nice to be with John, you know. Obviously, I love John, you know. If you haven't played Red Dead Redemption, Redemption 1, I've said it a million times, make sure you play Red Dead Redemption 1. Even though it's very old now, it's like eight years old now, it's still a fantastic game, and it, held, it holds up pretty well, I guess, all things considered. All right. As long as nobody sneaks up behind me, this should be an easy fight. Okay, it's R1 to take cover. Right, so I think... what Well, one thing I will recommend doing is uh, if you've got any, I mean, you probably will have some, if you've got any fire molotovs, throw them all around the mansion because the fire in this game does seem to set things on fire and spread quite a bit, you know, and then quite a few guys will run out and get themselves burnt. So it is bene a benefit to, like, set fire to quite a few things. If you ain't got no fire bombs, it doesn't really matter, you know, but, yeah, just bring some if you've got any. Because a lot of them will come out of that top set of shutters. So. Right. There, oh shit. Oh, I'm so sick of the wall being in the way. Right, let's. Uh, what, where is it on? Oh fuck, seven of them. Oh damn, that was a good throw. Not where I wanted it to go, but it was a good throw. I'm trying to get one up there. Oh man, I'm hitting somebody because I'm getting, uh, <laughs> I'm getting, uh, experience. See what I mean though? Look how all the fire spreads. Is this going to work out well? Let me have a look. Let's have a look. Damn it. <laughs> Not what I wanted at all. Oh well. I think we killed a bunch of them to be. I mean, look at the map. I mean, I don't know if that was just like Dutch and Bill and all that doing well, but I feel like we got quite a few kills. I'm going to have some chewing tobacco because I'm very low on my dead eye again. I'm not sure why. What gun are you using? Okay, good. I thought you were using your pistol. These banisters are a right pain in the butt, ain't they? Thank God for the auto aim, right? I'll be screwed. <laughs> it's definitely the kind of game where, hey, look, see? I think they're just getting burnt still. How are we doing? Where is everybody? Are they inside the building? Should we move up? Let's move up a little bit. Hopefully we don't get shot. There we go. Popped him. Yeah, look at look at the state of the mini map. I don't know if my head's blocking it, but look at the amount of uh, amount of carnage we've caused. I do want to loot all of these bodies, but I don't recommend doing it because uh, they do get very bitchy with you. So we're not going to worry about looting too much. We'll get, we'll grab a few bits, you know, because uh, we did lose a bit of money a minute ago when I got murdered by some I imbecile bloody bounty hunters. Yeah, because they want me to kick down the door, I think, and then they get all bitchy with me. Right, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to, don't want to annoy them. Okay, come on then. Oh, I'm trying to break the lock now instead. I'm doing it! Shush! Oh! Oh, look at that! Look at the blood! Oh! Oh, his head's gone! Oh, no, it ain't. No, I thought his head came off. Oh! I'm going to have a health potion. I'm not too bothered about getting any of the, like, uh, medals finished, you know, like the gold medals. Because a lot of the time, gold medals will tell you not to use any. If you press left on the D-pad, you can switch arms like that, if you didn't know. Oh! I need to stop double shooting. <laughs> I'm wasting my ammo. You don't get a lot of bullets with when you bring this. I need to upgrade my holsters again. Ow. Quick! Jesus. This is why I don't like using the shotgun. I'm only using it because it's fun. <laughs> I like blowing people's limbs off. I mean, look at the state of this guy. I swear his arm came off. No, he just lost a lot of... Uh, his chest just got annihilated. 
Oh crap, there's still someone there. Oh shit, stop looting, stop looting. Let me get my uh, repeater out. I'm just being silly now. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh. <laughs> See ya, mate. Right through the stained glass window. Now, I'll be up there in a minute, uh, John. I'm just looting the bodies, you know, because even though we've got a mission to do, that don't mean we should slack with our looting because we still need money. You know, that's the whole point of this game. To get money to go to the west. Well, now we're trying to get money to go to bloody Tahiti, wherever the hell that is. But, you know, <laughs> we always need money. Oh! There we go. Look like the butler, he did. I think the butler tried to kill me. I think I... Oh, oh shit, he's alive. God, butler's a badass. Who's that? Okay. That weren't Bronte, was it? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price, every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay, no, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't touching that piece of shit. Oh, do I have to carry him? Why do I have to carry him? How much stuff has he got on him? He must have a lot of money on him. Let's have a look. I think he had $100 on him. $155 and a platinum band. Damn. Yeah, make sure you loot him. Uh, there's this weapons appearing on the floor. Is it a good one? No, I'm not sure why it's telling me to pick it up. I don't know if it means it's a weapon I haven't picked up before. I think that's what that means normally. I'm not sure though, so don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. But I think when they show that icon on the map, it's because it's a weapon you've never used. <clears throat> well, he ain't going to be chatting for a while. He's, he's just got knocked out. John gave him a flipping falcon punch. Is this p oh no, it's police. Okay, yeah, you do the killing and I won't get any more bandy. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh Jesus. The music's got really nice, isn't it? That's some nice music. I think Red Dead Redemption won some awards for its music, and I agree. There isn't much bloody music playing in this game, but when it does play, it is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh look at that! One-handed, holding a body, and I just got you right in the head. Oh, oh shit, what happened? What the? What happened? <laughs> How the hell did Bronte die? What happened to him? I better have to start upstairs again. I better have to do all of it again. Oh no, that's alright, I don't mind that. What the hell happened? Is it because I fell over and dropped him down the stairs? Is he that weak? Right, we better get down the stairs quickly, because if I drop Bronte on the stairs, apparently he's made of tissue paper and he'll die. Unless somebody magically shot him. I think someone might have shot him, to be honest. There's also a policeman behind me. Maybe it's the policeman that was behind me that did it. That dude has got behind cover just in time, didn't he? That one didn't know. Sorry I'm using the dead eye so much, it's just, it's just the bloody easiest way to kill anyone in this game. Come on boys, let's go, we're almost here. Oh good job Lenny, you got flipping guns and fingers of steel you have. Put him in front. Bill, you help. Got him? Oh come on Lenny. Come on, let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, 
Hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so <laughs> right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth! has got to be disposed of! Oh, Our friends of oh. the are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! Your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Lovely. To be honest, you know, I, I know John and uh, Arthur weren't too happy about Dutch taking down Angelo Bronte then, but to be honest, if anyone deserves to be killed in this game, it's probably him. Him and Com Como Driscoll, you know. So, I don't get their problem, you know. We've probably killed a lot more people that didn't really deserve it, that were just doing their jobs, like policemen, you know. So, I don't really get why they were that bothered about it. I mean, to be honest, if I was, if I was in this uh, situation and I was Dutch, I would have tied his hands, tied his legs, not drowned him, and just pushed him into the lake. You know, left him fully conscious and let the alligators eat him. <laughs> that's what I would have bloody done. I would have tortured the prick. But yeah, you know, that's just me being, uh, you know, part psychopath, you know. Right, I'm not even sure what our next mission is going to be. So, I think, oh yeah, I think what, what our next course of action is going to be. Obviously, we've now dealt with Angelo Bronte. We've, uh, we've learned some information about a bunch of new characters. Like We obviously learned about Eagle Flies and Rain Falls, which are the Native Americans, but we're not going to be doing nothing with them for quite a long time, actually. But we, we met those. We also met the mayor. We stole a document from him. He knows we stole a document from him, but he doesn't mind, and he actually wants to work with us. But that is a bunch of side missions. I don't think there's any main story missions with him. We've got a dude that uh, runs a sugar plantation on some random island. That character's not important for now. And uh, there was also another dude involved with the um, pretty much the uh, the American army, the ones that would be the ones killing the Native Americans. I guess he will be a bit important later on in the story, but I'm not too sure. So we learn all about these characters, you know. We've done a bit bits with some of them, but most of them are not important for now. So the only thing we've really got left to do is to rob the bank. Because that's our last job. Rob the bank, get some money. Dutch has already found a man willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. So all we've got to do now is get some money. So I think uh, our next course of action is going to be robbing the bank. Now I've got about... How long have I got? About 20 minutes? 21 minutes? So, I don't know. I mean, I, I might be able to get it done. I'm not sure. It is a very long mission though. 
but I'm not sure if we're doing that yet, so I'll talk to Dutch and see what's up. I'm going to have some stew, though. How are you doing, Mrs. Grimshaw? You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkerton's, is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. <laughs> is that uncle? Is that bloody uncle? Yeah, of course it's uncle, you fat slob. Look at you, you make me sick. Ah, yeah, we are going to rob. I can hear I can hear Hosea and Dutch talking about the robbery. I like how I can no longer eat the stew. Where did the stew go? Who took my... You thief! The stew is currently being prepared. What was that all about? I was about to have a nice pile of stew and you nicked it. At the moment, Hosea and uh, Dutch are having a chat, but I'm not going to listen to them at the moment because I'm... Uh, I wanna. Oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna automatically start the mission. Sure? I'm gonna try and ignore him because I want to go and sleep. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, uh, morning. Whoever said that, I didn't actually see who that was. Sorry, I'm talking over him, but at the moment, I just want to sleep and uh, stock up on my bullets and that and stuff like that, you know. So uh, we're just gonna ignore him for now. Where's my room? Ah, over here. Because we used quite a few repeater bullets, a couple of shotgun bullets. We also used a lot of fire molotovs. I probably ain't really got much to pick up because I haven't really sent the wagon on a uh, trip to the... Yeah, look, it's red. I haven't really sent any uh, of my crew to get me more bullets. I suppose I could. There's quite a bit of money in the bank. I suppose I could do it. So first, we're going to have we're gonna have a sleep first anyway. I'm going to sleep to noon. I'm only going to have a small sleep. I don't want to sleep to night time because... Uh, the game doesn't always change the time of day, so then I'll be stuck uh, doing a bloody bank robbery at night, you know. And uh, I don't really like doing missions at night in this game because night really is dark in this game. It does, like some games you have night time, like, like Elder Scrolls Skyrim. When night time comes in that game, it's practically dusk all the time. You can still see everything, you know. But then you've got games like this. Or Dragon's Dogma had a really good night time. You had to get your you had to get your lamps out. Going out at night in Dragon's Dogma was deadly. You had to keep your lights with her. You had to give your crew lights, you know, because there was a squad of four. You had your character. You had your pawn, which was a character you created and other people could also bring into their games, if I remember correctly. And then you could have two other people, which were either just random characters in the game, I think, or you could, if you if you had an online connection, you could get pawns from online and then you had like a crew of four. That's what I loved about Dragon's Dogma, just running around in a little crew, you know, and uh, having all my team uh, level up and that. More so... My, my dude, because I played as British Wolf and my character with me was Beowulf, you know, that I created. So it was very nice. But yeah, let's, um, I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to put my grizzly uh, outfit back on because it looks really good. I love how that outfit looks. I think I might have left it on the horse though. Yeah, I did. I mean, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This outfit is suitable for average temperatures. So I feel like it might be all right in this area, but it might tell me that I'm too hot. But we're going to pull it on anyway. Right, I'm going to start the bank robbery. Uh, I think it's the bank robbery now. And if it goes, if it goes tits up and uh, I mess up, then I'm going to have to do the rest of it next time. Or if I run out of time, then we're just going to have to pause it and carry on in the next video. So yeah, I'll try and get it all done in one video, but it's probably going to be unlikely because you've got loads of stuff happens. This video is going to be a very important video, actually. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll have to... No, oh, it's, it's really, it's really, we're definitely going to have to stop and do the rest of it next time because it's a really long mission with lots of cutscenes, so. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police, it's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not 
execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Let's go! Hooey! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! <laughs> Who's next to me? Is that my cop? Before. What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. Just get my weapons out while they're talking. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Oh, yes. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, that, gentlemen. That's about how much time I've got left to record this video with. So if you need fifteen minutes, mate, you're in for a tough, uh, tough, uh, tough time because I'm not giving you fifteen minutes. <laughs> I'm giving you fifteen seconds max. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Yeah. One, more One more time! Again! <laughs> we already look like a bunch of bandits. Look at us. Look at Michael. Why is he dressed up like uh, Michael Jackson from Smooth Criminal? Catch up here. Okay. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this. Just getting my guns again. For some reason, Arthur Morgan decided it was a good idea to leave all my weapons on the horse when we're about to rob a bank. <laughs> this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Hmm. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Oh, I guess that was it. <laughs> He is a true. <coughs> he 
either he's set off a bomb or he's been eating a lot of vindaloo recently. <laughs> Damn, I can see the smoke. What has he done? What did he flipping do? <laughs> Equip mask. Oh yeah, we better put our mask on. I mean, we're already wanted anyway. I'm surprised I ain't already been shot. Look at Javier in his fancy costume. Let's go. On the floor, boys and girls, on the floor. <laughs> Don't make us shoot everybody. Who's wearing a bag on their head? Is that Bill? Force the bank manager to open the vault. Is that you? Come on, mate, come on. I don't want to have to beat you. Come on, my friend. Don't take all day, my friend, or I'll have to bash you. Good boy, good boy. Lovely, how much are we gonna get then? Oh, we gotta do some of this again, all right. Okay. I'm doing it myself, I don't think he's even telling me. I'm, I think I'm doing it myself, to be honest. 54. Well, well. Holy shit, they were joking. I don't see much money. What? Oh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, fantastic. He just said get out of here, the laws here. Of course the bloody laws. Think we got a problem out here? It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friends go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton? This is America! You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Don't. No. no. Oh, God damn it. There's your deal, Dutch. Who's there? What a bunch of fucking art. I really hate that they kill Jose. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. He's one of my favourite characters in this bloody game. Really but bloody annoys me, that does. That's, that's how three people we've lost on our crusade for freedom. We've had, uh, we've had Jose just get shot. It looks like he's dead. Who else we lost? We lost um, Sean. We lost Kieran, but he wasn't really part of the gang, was he? He was sort of like a... Uh, it was more like a person we kidnapped that just stuck around for a while. <laughs> but I like Kieran a lot as well. I don't know how long we've got to battle these guys for, but it's probably going to be a lot of them. So it's not the police force that are here. Somebody has told the Pickertons that we're here. I was going to have some uh, chewing tobacco because I want to be able to shoot these guys. Sorry I use the dead eye so much, it's just a lot easier to actually hit people with a dead eye, you know. Oh, right in the nose. So what are we doing then, Dutch? Yeah. Oh. Give me a hand. Did he ask me to give him a hand? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Where are you? I'm here. There's no way that we're getting out that door. Take this and blow a hole through that wall. All right then. Okay. <laughs> that was a very weird cutscene. Hey, hang on. Pick up the dynamite, Arthur. What are you playing at? This ain't the time for you to be pissing around, my friend. We're being shot at by the Pickertons. So somebody's told the Pickertons we're about to rob a bank and have squealed on us. Got no idea, who. Everyone, everybody's already here. Who's going to have squealed on us? 
It is worse than Black War. We lost Hosea. Ooh. What are we doing now? Are we getting out of here? Well, I'm getting out of here, boys. I don't know what you guys and girls are doing, but I'm gone. I'm gone, mate. I'll leave you all behind if I have to. <laughs> oh, we've got to go to the roof. All right, then. I thought we were just going to flee. I was going to throw the white flag up and just leave them all behind. Because all, they've all got piss-poor plans. All they do is cause a load of crap for us, don't they? I'd be better off on my own at this point. I mean, I've done most of this game on my own, so I wouldn't be doing too bad if I was on my own. <laughs> Let's get me a bolt-action rifle there. I've used my Angel Maker too much. I need to get me Wolf, me wolf Maker out. How do I get out of that square? I always forget how to jump over things. I don't know how much time I've got left. I've got a bit of time left. Oh, look at that. I need to get over here. It's uh, not looking promising over there. How'd you like this, boys? Oh, ho, ho. it's nice to use TNT just because it always increases your health. I don't know why. It just seems to be the thing that increases your health. Look at my ban, eh? I need to, I'm going to have a health potion because I don't want to risk dying at the moment. Just because of. Uh, I'm just also going to have something to eat if I've got time. Just because I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to risk dying at the moment. Alright, let's have something else. Sorry I'm having a snack in the middle of a gunfight. It's probably not the best time to do it, but you know. At the moment, all my stats are nicely filled up, you know, so less chance of me dying. Oh, Gatling gun. That was lucky. You don't want to have to deal with someone with a Gatling gun because they will melt you quickly. I think other people might try and get on the Gatling gun, so uh, do, do keep your eyes open on that wagon. Oh, damn. I think they just got out of... Oh, damn. What a waste of bullets. Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Oh, oh, fantastic. So, so now, oh, what they give me this shitty gun for? They love doing that, don't they? So John, John's been arrested now. Abigail's been arrested, I think. Jose is dead. This is going horribly. Hey, watch out, Idiots. God damn it, Lenny. He's dead. Oh, God, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my We're losing all the boys. We are losing all the boys today. This is not going very well. God damn it. Let me down. Let me down. Okay, I'm going to have to end the video in a minute, Wolf Warfare, so I'm just waiting until I get to the next cutscene. I'm going to have to end it at a crappy time, I do apologise, but yeah, well, obviously we'll pick this up next time. I just want to leave it at a somewhat decent bit, you know. Where are you, Dutch? Yeah, I think we're going to end it here. Arthur, we can get in here. There we go. Right, let's get in here. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwall. Ain't nothing like that. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. 
I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Okay, right, I'm gonna to have to end the video now. Well, for offense, I don't really want to end it now, but like I said, I've got to keep these videos at 45 minutes, so I've got enough time to record lots of videos for you guys and girls over the Christmas period, otherwise there'll be no videos at all, you know, so I apologise, you know, because I, I would have 15 more minutes to get through this, but, you know, it is what it is, I apologise. We'll carry on with this next time. Even if I did have an hour, I don't think I'd get through this mission because it is pretty long with some cutscenes and that, but, yeah. Once we're done with this bit, it's probably my least favourite part of the game. And then once we're done with that bit, it's back to being good again. So I'm not really excited for the next part of the game. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching Waffle Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!